Hey, Frontline fans, welcome back to Comic Frontline and Fans. You're with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision on what comic books to buy. And today, fam, we're talking about Jimmy Paul Metti's uh, Harley Quinn issue number 17. That's right, guys. Uh, here on Frontline, we had a chance to meet up with Jimmy, and uh, he told us a little bit about his Starfire issue one. Uh, book that is right behind me and uh, I read it myself and it was a great book so I decided to get back into Harley Quinn uh, and uh, and give this issue a try now on this cover we get to see Harley and then a whole bunch of other gang of Harleys in here as well uh, so what was that all about well I'll tell you in a little bit uh, now the artwork in this issue is done by um, uh, Chad Harding, which is really well done. Uh, this is a pretty cool image that you can see right here with Harley sitting in the mayor's chair smoking the big stogie there. Uh, I thought that was really awesome to see. Um, the colors are always bright in, in Harley's book and uh, there's some there's some cool uh, action scenes that happen. There's even this guy in here uh, that kind of reminds me of of, of Popeye the sailor man who actually eats spinach he's got the cool facial expressions uh, throughout the book and then there's some uh, you know touching moments here with Harley and uh, this uh, boyfriend I think it's called was Mason in here uh, which was really cool to see and then you get this uh, cool like soldier in here as well uh, that threatens Harley as well that's a little cool facial expression there too uh, so what was this story about um, Basically, what happens at the beginning of this issue is we get to see some guys uh, that are in New York or, or, or whatnot and in, in Brooklyn, and it's at 4 a.m., and they're stealing trash cans, and that's what's going on here. And Harley is in the actual trash can, as you can see her here, and she's she's been hired to stop these guys from stealing these trash cans. And what she does is she winds up calling... Uh, her whole bunch of, of Harley little cronies there, her Harley gang. And they're all sitting there. They're all dressed like her. They have hair like her and whatnot. And uh, they, they try to stop these guys. Here you get to see a couple of them right here. And they try to stop these guys. And they're successful in their particular mission. This little old lady winds up hiring them and, uh, and, and whatnot. And doesn't have payment, so they give Harley a rooster in there, uh, which I thought was kind of a comical thing. So that's basically how the issue opens up. Now, the whole thing in here uh, starts off with Harley going to the mayor, and uh, she's just like, Mr. Mayor, you know, and she says it like that. And she basically sits there and meets with the mayor and has conversation with him and says, you know what, you're going to allow my gang to uh, to wrap up all the stuff that your little cops can't do, and you're just going to leave us alone. And the mayor kind of doesn't like that situation. Uh, you know, uh, and they kind of start, you know, arguing with each other and Harley sits there and, and says, you know what, I have these tapes that, you know, you do blackmailing and you do all this, which I find is quite villainous, but you know what, I'll let that stuff slide because I think it's kind of good. Uh, but you just got to let our gang do its thing and you guys, you know, get the sloppy seconds, you know. So, um, so after that little blackmailing issue, I guess the mayor has to deal with the situation. Now, the other part of the story deals with this, uh, this sailor, and, uh, and his name is uh, Mr. Strong, I think it was, and uh, he's checking out this strange seaweed that's in the ocean, and uh, he, winds up, he winds up picking it up and whatnot, and he starts eating it, and uh, he starts to feel a little bit strange. So that's kind of like the backstory. And you start seeing some of these changes that are happening with uh, this, this kind of Popeye the Sailor Man guy. And uh, we get to see some emotional moments with Harley and her boyfriend or whatnot. Uh, and, her name, and his name is Mason. We find out that he has committed some crimes. And uh, it looks like the FBI come and they, and they, and they pick him up. Uh, so by the time you get to the end of this uh, issue, 
And we wind up finding out that uh, Harley and her gang wind up uh, getting the phone call to retrieve the sailor because he's gone missing. And the last thing we wind up finding out is that uh, he was at this particular bar and uh, he was in this stall. And uh, we find out that um, after eating the seaweed, he gets super strong like Popeye the Sailor Man and looks like this. And I was like, damn, that's pretty awesome, man. It's like a modern day Popeye, you know? And I was like, oh, that's cool. And that's kind of how the issue ends. Now, you get to see some cool character moments between the, the new Harley gang and this other guy. He's, his name is called Harvey Quinn. He's like a, a male Harley Quinn. And there's some good moments there between the bartender and whatnot. So uh, after reading this issue, I thought it was a, a, it was a very good read. Uh, it was very entertaining. Harley was was comical as she always is. Uh, the story's a little bit intriguing to see what's going to happen with this sailor. Is he going to be good? Is he going to be bad? Like what's going to happen with them? And it's going to be interesting to see this storyline develop with these gang of Harleys and how they're going to uh, create peace throughout the city. And uh, I love all the, the Harley moments in here, and I love the way she speaks, and I love. The, you know the blackmailing of the mayor of the mayor in, mayor in here uh, it's totally in her character and uh, I enjoyed this book so I'm gonna give this one a solid four out of five stars really good read nice artwork the art has always been consistent in Harley from the past issues that I read and I definitely suggest you guys go out and read this issue so guys as always leave me in the comments below what you thought of Harley Quinn issue number 17 and fans as always thank you for watching comic frontline and until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.